Here's another one of these construction methods you should be familiar with. And some people refer to it as the common corner method, where you'd be starting at one corner or one side of the building and then laying out all of your joists and studs, ceiling joists, roof rafters, trusses at the same on center measurements. For example, in this diagram here, we're laid out at 16 inches on center. And all of the components line up perfectly except for the ceiling joist. And in a situation like this, you can lay the ceiling joist or the roof rafter out on top of the stud. I like to lay out the roof rafter on top of the studs because that's usually going to be the most weight. And the theory behind this is that all of your sheathing, floor, wall, roof, even your drywall will produce less waste. And that usually works good for a 16 inch on center measurement. However, if I switch the rafters and the floor joists to two foot on center, then the only joist studs and rafters that are going to line up will be every four foot. And this might not be that big of a deal, depending upon the type of construction and materials. For example, if you're still going to be using four foot wide or eight foot wide materials for your sheathing in your drywall, then the only problem you're going to have is that the load won't be transferring from one component above directly to the other component below in every situation. And in this example here, we are going to go 19.2 inches on center with the floor framing and the roof framing. And I want to point out the biggest problem you're going to run into when using this method will be any structural framing components and plumbing pipes that will require you to relocate some of these joist or other framing components and making it difficult to use this method throughout the entire building. And let's go ahead and finish the video with a couple of examples here. We have different spacing in the floor joist. I believe this was the 19.2 on center layout. And the upper and lower wall framing studs don't line up clearly. You can see that this one here lines up, but it doesn't line up over here. And this is because the shear panel or wall sheathing, whatever it is, isn't going to go all the way up. And they're going to break it here, so they're going to have a break on the plate here, bottom wall framing plate. And then they're going to use the rim joist over here. And this isn't always the best way to do this either. Definitely not what I would have done. I would have had this tie together. And yes, it would have taken more time to do that. But it also would have been structurally stronger. So this method won't work all the time. But it's a common sense construction method. If you can use it, great. If you can't, then you're going to have to make some adjustments. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button or letting us know in the comment area.